Hallå och välkommen till en annan review. Här är min Då är vi till att se Spider-Man Homecoming. Yes, det är det. Vi har en ny kamera också. Well. Let's see how this will go. And yeah. Spider-Man Homecoming, the most recent released Spider-Man movie, essentially, which is, which is actually a reboot, the second to be exact, of the Spider-Man franchise film series, essentially. Uh, sorry, I've had a little bit of a problem in continuing the success of the Spider-Man franchise in their eyes, as essentially, because I wanted something bigger and better every time and they didn't get what they really wanted in the end but this recent movie they have the help of marvel studios which have made a lot of decent and amazing superhero movies so with these two powers combined did they make a good movie maybe i don't know let's just get right into it <laughs> spider-man homecoming are set a little bit a little while after Captain America Civil War essentially and a little bit before and during that movie but for the most part after it and we essentially follow Peter Parker as he is trying to he is calling it a internship with, the, with Tony Stark essentially and uh, running around solving crimes small crimes in his Spider-Man outfit while doing that, he is trying to meddle the daily life, school, and essentially his friends, contests, and everything that comes with your daily life, with this new life. And for the most part, it is a success, but otherwise, he started to, to his friends trying to go in. I uh, get a little bit tired of this, they're not liking it as much, and uh, yeah, that is essentially how this goes. And then he stumbles upon alien weapons that is being used, which are being combined with human technology, and he is now trying to solve, find out who is behind this, and try to stop it. The, the thing I like about this synopsis or storyline about in Spider-Man Homecoming is that it isn't trying to become another reboot of the origin story essentially of Spider-Man. You're not seeing the, his uncle dying, you're not seeing how he got by, bitten by a spider. It just feels like another storyline or another story, another villain and I love that about this movie. That it's not trying to become just another origin story, so the storyline I like a lot. The side characters in this movie are excellently played by all of the different act actors and actresses. Uh, we have his aunt, Aunt May, she is really great in this movie. He has his friend Ned, his girlfriend Liz, and other colorful characters. Of course, we also had the villain, which is Played by Michael Keaton, and it is the Vulture, which I think for the first time is on the big screen. I don't really know if that is 100% correct, but at least in what I understand in this big cinematic movies, essentially blockbusters of Spider-Man, he is the first. He's being portrayed for the first time. All of the, these characters are played. Excellently by the actors, as I said, I really love all the side characters. None of them stands out over the others. They are all equally as good, and that I really like about this movie. Spider-Man for this time of being portrayed by T Tom Holland, if I remember correctly, and he is doing a great job. He is one of the younger, but it is one of the first time Spider-Man is a younger character in this universe and he is portraying him really well in how he is trying to learn everything, how he is trying to grow. It is just amazingly portrayed and yeah. The effects in this movie are amazing and it's great action scenes, it's great chore choreography, it's great just everything surrounding the fights, the 
the effects when it comes to the fight scenes, the scenarios, and all oh, the it's just amazing in my opinion. It's very well produced and really well created in my opinion. And for the first time, the Spider-Man movies are essentially in the Marvel Cinematic, Cinematic Universe. And it shows a lot. They're trying to nut in a lot of things in this movie that is proving that this is part of this universe. Of course, the main thing being that Tony Stark, Iron Man, played by Robert Downey Jr. are actually in this movie. And is essentially a father figure for Spider-Man or Peter Parker. We also have Captain America in some weird <laughs> videos throughout the movie. They was weird in my opinion, but we also see them referencing different scenarios from this universe. And it's really interesting, really fun that it is finally happening and that is just amazing. Spider-Man Homecoming is an excellently made movie in my opinion. We have a great storyline that doesn't follow the old formula that is an organ story in my opinion. We have great side characters, great interaction with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It has great effects. It just is an amazing movie. If I had to nitpick some things about this movie that I didn't like is that we are it is a lot of tropes in this movie that I don't really like, and that will be the high school part of this movie that seems a little bit too much of a I've seen this before kind of feeling. It has turned this movie down a little bit, but overall, this is an excellent movie and I really recommend it. So, Spider Man Homecoming, the final verdict for Spider Man Homecoming are going to be a 9.2 out of 10. Hope to see you next time. It was all for day, folks. Bye.